Hello everyone, Mr. Happy here, and welcome to another Bleed and Soul video. It's a keyword missing from that one. But anyway, I just wanted to do a quick announcement video about Blade and Soul. Now, you may remember that I went over the trailer that was teased about a week ago regarding some of the new content for Blade and Soul, and when I thought it would release, the, the general window, because they are trying to get us prepared for the World Championship before November, which I thought was pretty impossible. But if they keep moving along at this new pace, we are already getting the next content patch for Blade and Soul. It is a content patch known as Rising Waters, and it contains most of what you saw in the trailer before. It doesn't have Silver Frost or the level 50 content, we are still at the level 45 cap, but it does include Bloodshade or Bloody Shark Harbor, as some of you may know it as. It's 4, 6, and 24-man version, with the 24-man version being called Nightshade Harbor. It's also offering the first seven floors of Mushin's Tower, as well as Hong Moon levels. That's all detailed in this post right here that was posted on January 26th, a little while ago. I'm, I was a little slow on getting this video out. But, uh, so basically, the next 4, 6, 24-man is coming out. That means there's going to be more 24-man dailies for you to do to earn an income at max level. If you're not already using all 40 of your daily quests, you now have a lot more of them to do. Also, obviously, ways to get more uh, breakthrough materials, more upgrade materials, more glamour items. A lot of things like that are going to be coming from the 4, 6, and 24-man. Another soul shield from the 6-man. You know, All of those things are going to be available. So you just basically have twice as many things to do at max level at this point. Or, I'm sorry, as of February 10th when this patch actually goes live. Uh, Bloodshade Harbor is supposed to be about twice the difficulty of uh, the Poaran Dungeons, the, uh, the Black Ram supply chain. So if you were somebody who was kind of struggling with the four-man or even the six-man and you were having trouble finding groups, you may have even more difficulty with this one. That being said, just like with the other one, comes down to memorization and just pulling it off. And make sure your latency isn't like 500 MS. That'll probably make it a little harder. The other thing, Mushin's Tower, floors 1 through 7, I predicted this would happen because I believe floors 1 through 7 are the only level 45 floors of Mushin's Tower. This is basically a single player heroic dungeon. Some people refer to it as a single player raid, where as you go up higher on the floors, the challenge becomes greater and greater. Of course, as it says here, it also gets greater rewards. Now, these aren't the only floors to Mushin's Tower. More will come later, but probably not till the level 50 cap is actually incorporated. So this is a good way to learn how different builds work for soloing and how to counter certain boss mechanics with just what your skills offer. So it's definitely going to be a fun solo challenge for a lot of people, especially those of you who may not be as interested in things such as the four and six man versions of the other heroic dungeons. And then finally, there is also Hong Moon levels. Now, excuse me with Hong Moon levels, because I'm actually uneducated in how these work. From what I understand in the other regions, it went something like this. Uh, and I get this from my Twitch chat. Level 45 was the initial cap. Then they did 45 plus 5, which is the Hong Moon level 5 that we're getting in this patch. Then we got level 50 and Hong Moon progression stopped. Then eventually it was 50 plus 10 Hong Moon levels. I think 50 plus 5 is technically what it counts as. But um, I think it goes to 50 plus 10 as well. So, Hong Moon levels, if you've played any other MMO or you can continue to gain experience points after max level, that's basically what it does. It allows you to get, it gives you additional skill points to increase your character's strength. So that way, it's going to feel more like you're a level 50 character going up against some of this stuff. And it's just encouragement to do these daily quests. It gives you basic, it makes the daily quests that we were talking about before uh, worth a little bit more. Because now that you're not only doing those, you're earning several gold per day. But you're also earning experience points toward these Hong Moon levels, which aren't going to make or break anything. But let's be honest, it'll make things easier having those extra five skill points. So um, on top of this... This update will unlock the first five, and you're going to need to complete a new quest in order to grab it. And finally, the PvP preseason is here. For those of you wondering, what, what do you mean preseason? What, what are we doing right now? Um, preseason is exactly what it sounds like. Right now, we have no season. Like, we're not in a season in the, in the Western version. Our PvP preseason is actually going to start... Uh, on February 10th, you're going to be able to get an item called Zen Beans, and you might have noticed when you're winning your matches now, you're getting zero of those. You're going to be able to start getting those, and uh, this is going to be uh, just a way to get more rewards and whatnot. So you can earn more rewards from PvP now as well. It's pretty impressive this is coming out February 10th. This makes us think that we'll get Spiral Labs by the first week of March, and for us to be maybe going into level 50 in Warlock by the beginning of April. So let me know if you're excited for these new content patches coming at this rate for Blade and Soul. Are you ready for the new challenges? 
matches? Are you ready for the new dailies? Do you even have the time to get through all that shit with all the PvP faction dailies on top of the other 24-man dailies, on top of the 4 and 6-man? Do you even have time to get to all this stuff? Let me know in the comments section of the video below. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share. And stay tuned for more videos, Blade and Soul, and other things as well. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care.